All right, so we did our first Quarantine O'Malley's performance three weeks ago, and we're coming up on our fourth one this Sunday. And, uh, you know, I did forget to hit record on that first one, so uh, nobody saw it except for the original 34 people that were there. But trust, it was, um, how you say, uh, Epico. And since we don't have it on video, that very, very first live stream of Quarantine O'Malley's has kind of become the stuff of legends. I want you to know from firsthand experience that, uh, that we laughed and, and we cried. We had philosophical discussions on the nature of time and string theory. And we drank a lot of beer, like a lot. There was a bar fight, people died. <laughs> people were resurrected from the dead via necromancy. Uh, there was a mad leprechaun twirling away along the bar top, drunk on whiskey and rage, and I sang some incredibly sad Irish songs. Very sad. It ruled. <laughs> but one thing was crystal clear when it was all over. People wanted more. People were like texting us. They're like, hey, oh my God, dude, that shit was fire. When are you gonna have another one? Yo, bro, that shit was off the chain. People were, people were telling us, yo, you just changed my life, bro. You just changed my life. <laughs> Cornel O'Malley's performance <laughs> changed my life. <laughs> it changed my fucking life. It fucking changed my fucking life. People were like that Cornel O'Malley's changed my fucking life. And that's what we, we're not expecting, but we're stoked that that's the way it was. It, it was a movement. It was a movement is what it was. So from there, it was really just a matter of clearing our schedules, you know? So from there, we just decided that we'd make it a weekly thing. So a weekly thing, we made it. Look at me Dr. Susan up in this bitch. So now we do it weekly. Uh, we turn on my old doohickey and people join from all over the world and we stream escapism for one incredibly magical hour. Rain or shine. It's indoors, but rain or shine. Live performance, social commentary, a little Q&A, and a lot of laughter along the way. Seriously susing right now. But wait, James, how are you going to a pub if there's a shelter in place? And what is this Quarantine O'Malley's thing anyways? Quarantine O'Malley's is a digital pub where friends gather every Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and forget that we're living in one giant Black Mirror episode in some fucked up dystopian future. It's also a venue for me, a musician who has nowhere else to perform, to do covers and originals for a group of people with that very specific fetish. It's a warm fireside chat between old friends and my co-hosts, Lammy and Rachel, who are certainly not my co-hosts out of convenience just because we're stuck inside together 24 hours a day, but because they get the job done every week. They do what it takes to sit there and drink beer in front of a camera. And that means something. Quarantine O'Malley's is, is a concept. It's this concept that, holy shit, is that a fucking four leaf clover? Wait, what the, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is? Ah, good one, yeah. Very funny, you're one sick bastard, you know that? You're one sick bastard. It's the concept that a space is whatever you make of it. It's the idea that special moments are created when people get together and say, this is special. We're having a special moment right now. Home is where the heart is. You gotta um, spend money to make money. Everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. Mike Tyson. So if you watch these silly little day in the life videos and you're like, well, when's he actually gonna sing? I wanna see him sing. Well, now's your chance. Come on down to Quarantino Malley's, where the fire's always blazing, the company's always good, and the beer is always whatever you have in your glass. Because the tap's an illusion. So I post the link to the performances an hour before every show on my Instagram and my Patreon channel, and I'll put those links in the description if you want to uh, if you want to come to the fourth Quarantine O'Malley's or any of the future ones. So these live streams are free to attend. Um, 
it's just sort of our way of giving a little back and spreading a little joy in an otherwise uh, dark time. But if you do want to support my music and Quarantine O'Malley's, um, if you feel compelled, you can join my Patreon for a dollar or more per month. And um, you'll get instant access to the Quarantine O'Malley's after party that happens 30 minutes after every live stream. And if you don't have a buck, that's okay too. Come anyways. Uh, we don't we don't turn anyone away at Quarantino Mallee, so um, so come on down and bring your friends. Thank you.